Hello everyone, welcome to Educers. This video will help you in understanding the flow of the academy or coaching or institution management software. Once we do the setup, you will be getting the login credentials as username and password to your registered email ID or mobile number. If you don't receive the credentials even after the setup is done, you can reach our support team. Also, you can create your own password using forget password option in the login page. Now, use your browser and enter the URL as www.educers.co slash coaching to open the login page. Use your credentials to login into the application. So, let us start with the flow of the application. We need to go to the academic masters, click on application settings and departments and designations. In the department and designation, we have the designation screen where we can add all the department present in the institution like admission department, admin department, etc. First, we have to configure academic course. Student staff cannot register without academic course configuration. First step, academic setup. Open the academic course section short term course click the academic course icon and now configure the academic course select academic year like 2019-20 22-21 accordingly select your year type as current year previous year and next year accordingly select the course year from the option available in the drop down also course group from existing drop downs if the exact course group is not available, click on the course group button. The course group button is present in the main window and configure the course group. Select medium as English or Hindi in the depending on the medium you teach. Also select the shift type and medium for the particular academic course. Select academic start time and end time according to your timings. Also select the shift type for the particular academic year. If course is to be managed by the specific department, then select the specific department in the drop down list of the manage by the department. This option is optional. After that, we can give the start time and end time, start date and end date of the academic course. Once the academic year is configured, the current year will reflect in the blue color and the previous year will reflect in the green color and the next year in the blue color. For long term course, click on academic plus icon now and configure academic course. Course groups etc. from existing drop downs. If course group is not available, click on course group button. The course group button is present in the main window right corner and configure the course groups. Select batch from the batch year and two batch year as the batches and courses duration. If course is to be managed by the specific department, then select specific department in the drop down list of the managed by department. This is optional. Also select the shift type and medium for the particular academic course. Academic year time will be enabled based on the selection of the course duration shown from year to two year selection. If course year is semester wise, we can split the years into semester by just ticking the checkbox in the is semester wise column and select the number of semesters for one academic year. Max semesters will be five in a year. After that, we can give the start date and end date, start time and end time of the academic year. Once the semester settings are done, then set the year type for generating batches. We have three year types, namely current year, previous year and next year. Let us take an example for 2019-23 batch. The first year will be 2019-20, academic year will be current year and second, third and fourth year will be next year and 2018-22 batch, the first year. 2018 to 19 will be the previous year and 19 to 20 will be the current year. So choose accordingly. Hope you understood. 
Once the academic course is configured, then current year will reflect in the blue color, previous year will be the, in pink color and next in the green color. Once academic configuration is done, then you can register the staff in the staff management and student in the student management. If you want to do later, then you can continue with the configurations like subjects, batch sections, etc. in the academic setup. Next step. Student admissions. Go to academy setup. User registrations. Student admissions. In this screen, we can add the student admission details like personal details, family details, language proficiency, admission enrolling information, uploading document submitted by the students at the time of admissions, etc. N number of students can be registered based on the availability of seats and these details can be modified by the academy officials at any time. Click on add user plus icon to add new student admission details. Enter all the required data and save the data in the fields to register the students. Asterisk symbol fields are mandatory. It's optional to fill the data other than the mandatory fields. In enrolling information, we will be selecting the students admissions info such as for which academic year they are enrolled, course code and batch. Student photo can be uploaded using upload option and document using upload document option in the same screen. Transportation and dormitory facility can be assigned to the selected students by enabling bus and dormitory button. By default, we will provide one application type in the drop-down. If you need more types in the drop-down, just configure in the master settings screen by selecting inquiry type. Similarly, while selecting occupation types in the family details, go to data in the drop-down list. You have to add new types in the master settings screen. Once the application status is confirmed, a notification will send automatically to the registered mobile number or email ID that registration has been successfully done. To understand the notification configuration, let us go back to application settings, notification templates, default templates. Here we are providing some default templates. If you want to send notifications to these default templates, you can create or if you want to create your own, just click on template plus icon and create your own template. You can also use template columns, click add like email id, username, password etc and save the template which you have created. Next, notification alert master. Notification alert configurations, alert types by default we are giving few. If you want to send notification to these alert types, to this respected user types like staff, student, parent, can checklist here how the notification has to go like whether SMS, push, internal mail or external mail, just checklist and save, then the notification will send, will be going accordingly. Deletion of data is not possible at your end once student application status is confirmed. Contact our support team for any deletion of such data. Use bulk input option. If there are large number of students, make sure Excel sheets in the proper format to ensure importing the data without error. You can even download the proper process report to check the errors for the file records. You can make appropriate changes for the file records and reload or import again. Next step. Staff management. As a super admin, you will be assigning the work to the different staff according to the roles and designations. So now we have to go to departments and designation screen configurations before registering the staff. Go to department and designation. Here we have design here we have a department screen where we can add all the available departments in the department alias screen and add admin department etc. Next is department and des designation screen. Here in the designation alias you can add the designations. As we can also configure teaching plan details for the staff in the staff management screen only for those sub designations as ease teaching option enabled. Now we have department designation mapping screen. 
here you need to map under which department the designation should be next step staff management go to user management staff management this screen is used to register the staff enter all the required data and save the data in the fields to register the staff asterisk symbols fields are mandatory it's optional to fill all the data other than mandatory fields staff can be assigned to the department based on their specializations management can register the staff just clicking on add single user button beside add user use bulk import option if there is a large number of staff make sure excel sheet in the proper format to ensure importing the data without error you can even download the processed report to check the errors for the file records you can make appropriate changes for the file records and reload or import again while registering the staff if you have not specified the genuine email id then application will generate automatic email id for such staff you can reset staff password in user maintenance screen next step role authorizations go to user management in this screen we can give access of the screen to the users based on their user role in branch level we can even give an access as a read only and read and write for the selected screens user role will with access custom user authorization here we can give access to the screen username wise by choosing the department for the selected modules and screens username wise or individually faculty wise now let us go back to academic setup to complete further configurations go to academic setup subject management in this screen we add list of subjects for the individual batches belong to the respected course code this can be done individually by selecting plus icon and enter the data for the required fields based on the subjects we can keep the subject groups as a theory others etc which can be selected by the drop down list to include one particular subject into the timetable then enable include in timetable option if management has decided to assign different subjects in one time slot then include those particular subjects into the different groups we cannot include theory or other subjects into the groups create subject details can be edited using edit option in the action column management can also delete multiple subjects at a time management can also dump all the subject list at once using an excel sheet present in the import fill the information in the excel sheet will with given format and upload and process the file then all the subjects will be dumped into the screen which takes less than 5 seconds management can view the count of the success records fail records and total records of the file note even student admissions is confirmed they need to assign to the particular batch section then only we can see them in the student management screen for any data to be added or reflected to the student so now we are going to do batch section management then student to batch section management batch section management screen in this screen we create number of batches sections for the particular course code and batch they can also define the maximum strength max students to be allotted to a batch section for the created batch sections for one batch duplicate batch sections are not acceptable you can configure the batch sections by clicking the plus icon and enter the mandatory fields primary and secondary batch faculty can also be assigned to monitor the students in the batch section secondary faculty can be act backup in the absence of primary faculty next step student to section after batch sections are created now in this screen we assign the students to the respective batch sections in student admission screen once student admission is confirmed then student will reflect in the student to batch section unassigned screen you can see unassigned students for the selected course code and batch to assign all the student to the batch sections at a time then tick the check box which is available in the column 
if you want assign few students to the batch section then enable the checkbox for individual student after selecting the students now select the batch section from the allocate to batch section drop down and save hope you understood academy management software thank you